Hi, I'm Melinda Perry, and I'm a part-time administrative assistant here at Celebration Church. I have attended Celebration for about 20 years now, so I know a lot of names, I know a lot of faces, I don't always put names and faces together. And I think the same may be true of you. You may have seen me, you may have seen me in the kitchen, you may have seen me at Live It Up. I'm usually behind the scenes because I'm a behind the scenes kind of person. Uh, I don't like being in the forefront, so this is kind of going, uh, taking me out of my comfort zone to be able to do this. But there were some things that, uh, that I wanted to share, things about my life, things about me, and things that hopefully will have a meaning to someone out there. Let me start by saying that I have been very blessed in my life. I grew up in a home with two parents who loved each other and loved us. I have one older brother. I grew up just with the ideal childhood, really, if there is such a thing, uh, compared to a lot, what a lot of families have to go through these days. There were just many, many blessings poured out on us. But I also grew up with an ideal in my mind of what my life would be like. I had a plan for my life because that was sort of the beginning of the women's movement. It was when things were changing. Uh, I grew up watching things like uh, Leave it to Beaver and uh, Ozzy and Harriet and these ideal families. And I pretty much had what I considered to be an ideal family too. And I thought that's what I would grow up to have. But the women's movement also told me that I could have a career. I could have it all. I could have the family, I could have the husband, and I could have the 2.5 kids and live happily ever after. But there was a certain amount of lie to that. And I'll get into to some of that a little bit later. Um, I want you to know that I have things that I have struggled with, but I have found contentment in my life and in the life that I've led. My life didn't go the way I had planned, but I think it went the way God had planned. I think it was part of His plan all along. My One of my favorite things are bare trees. And people laugh at me sometimes for that because a lot of people see uh, dead trees or winter trees once they've lost their leaves, they see it as a sign of despair. But to me, I see it as a sign of beauty. Because if you look at a tree silhouetted against the sky, you can see the true tree underneath. It has shed its leaves and it is just showing us everything underneath, the true tree. And I think that people are like trees. We hide behind our jobs. We hide behind our families. We hide behind the clothes that we wear. And we don't often show our true self to the people around us. People who know us very well may not really know the struggles that we've been through. And they may be surprised if we tell them what's been going on in our lives. They may be surprised to know that we've struggled with things. And so today in this real talk, I'm going to bear a little bit of myself before you. And I'm gonna share something that I've struggled with, something that I have come to terms with, but something that can still be emotional for me to talk about. Um, Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8 says, But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. So, I'm gonna bear myself. But my, tr my, my roots are buried deep in the Word. And that's how I found the courage 
to share my story and to let you know of some things I've struggled with. And it's also a way to encourage you to share with others as well. When I took the uh, Beth Moore Bible study, Breaking Free, several years ago, one of the assignments was to write down a prayer expressing what we were feeling. And this was my prayer. Lord, I had the dream of all little girls, but my dream did not come true. For whatever reason, you have led me in a different direction. Thank you for allowing me to gain contentment with my lot and help me continue growing in my faith so I can reflect your glory to others. The thing that I've struggled with is the fact that I never married and I never had children. I have always, always loved children. I had a lot of extended family growing up and I was one of the older cousins. And so I was the one that was always willing to hold the new babies, to play with the little kids. Rather than being out with the other kids, if there was a new baby in the family, that's where I would be. Like I said, I had a plan. I was gonna grow up, get married, have my 2.5 kids, and live happily ever after. But God had a different plan. For many years, I struggled with that. I kept asking why. Why do other women get married? Why do other women have children? And it was very difficult, but it was also something that I hid inside. I am very much an introvert, a shy person, unless I get to know you well. I don't share. And so um, it's difficult for me. And I I've very rarely have ever verbalized what I am talking about here today. There are only a couple of times in my life that I've actually spoken these words out loud, that I've actually told how I struggled with the fact that I did not get my dream. But you know, the Lord's ways are so much better than our ways. And His plans are better than our plans. And He knows us better than we know ourselves. And I have come to realize over the years that he may have been saving me from heartache. A lot of marriages end in divorce. A lot of people lose children. I'm not sure I could emotionally have handled if I had had to go through something like that. And my life, as I say, just took a different turn. My dad died when I was 20 years old. And I was still living at home at the time. My mother and I, my mother went back to work. And uh, my mother and I both had low paying jobs. And we were able to pool our resources, maintain our household, and support ourselves. We probably, neither one of us could have done that separately, but we were able to do that together. And as I grew older and my mother's health declined, I was there with her. Something I would not have been able to do if I had had my own husband and children, my own family it would have been much more difficult to be able to care for her. But my brother and I together cared for her 
But I was the one who was there with her at night. I was the one who was there to cook her supper. Um, but we were able to keep her at home. My brother was able to stay with her during the day while I worked because he's a little older and he had retired sooner. So we were blessed to be able to do that, to have the privilege to care for her. It's another thing that might not have happened if I'd had my own husband and my own children. Not saying that people who have their own families don't care for their parents, because I know a lot of people do, but I also know that makes it so much more difficult. So the Lord blessed me by being able to free me to do that. One of the verses that gets me through hard times, it has for many years, the verses in Philippians, verses six and seven of chapter four. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, and with thanksgiving, sometimes we leave out that part, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Whatever circumstances you find yourself in, bear it to the Lord. Let Him know. He already knows. But share it with Him, even if you can't share it with others. Share it with the Lord. Thank Him for it and let his peace surround you because he can do it and he will do it. He has done it for me and he has done it for you. You will find that peace. Philippians goes on in verse 11 that Paul says, I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. That's where the strength comes from. That's where the contentment comes from. It comes from the Lord. And I want to just leave you with one last thought, back to the trees. You have to be brave to be a tree and regularly shed your leaves for everybody to see the true you. It takes bravery. But they have that bravery and so do we when our feet are anchored in the word of the Lord very strongly anchor yourself in the word of the Lord and bra be brave enough to raise your hands in worship to honor the God who created you and who has a purpose for you and your life. Even if it's not your plan, it's his and it's all good. Thank you.